Chapter 1 Breaking off the engagement you are listening at novelfull.audio Translator Nyo I.B.O. Studio Editor Nyo I.B.O. Studio After a passionate, steamy night, Su Weilai felt the man beside her rise from the bed and enter the bathroom. She lay sprawled across the bed, exhausted and unmoving. The sound of water flowing could be heard coming from the bathroom. Su Weilai forced her eyes open and glanced at the clothes scattered all around the floor. The fresh memory of the night's activities surfaced in her mind, and she instinctively clutched the blanket as her cheeks blushed crimson. She and Gu Yu. Since they were young, both of them had been betrothed to each other by their respective families. However, Guyu hadn't harbored much interest in this betrothal. He had been indifferent to her, and she could never guess what he was thinking. It was only after he had met with a car accident, and she had stayed by his side for three months to take care of him, that his attitude toward her had improved tremendously. They had been together for a while, and now that they had consummated their relationship, he was going to take responsibility and marry her, wasn't he? She couldn't help but quiver in excitement at that very thought, and her eyes twinkled brightly. As she was lost in her thoughts, the door to the bathroom suddenly opened. The man walked out leisurely. Su Wei Lai looked over. He had tied a towel around his hips, revealing his sexy, sculpted chest. His body was still covered in water droplets, and he looked mesmerizing. Even though they had already been intimate, Su Wei Lai still couldn't help but lower her eyes. Gu Yu's handsome face carried an air of frostiness. His eyes looked dark and cold. As he strode past her, he did not spare her a single glance. He loosened his towel and put on his clothes unhurriedly. Su Wei Lai tightened her fist around the blanket. She took in a deep breath and considered her next words carefully before gently saying, Gu Yu, we. Su Wei Lai voiced out a few words, but she was too shy to finish the statement. However, Gu Yu didn't seem like he was about to say anything to fill the void. She stopped for a short moment before stealing herself and continuing, since we've already done it, don't you think that Gu Yu did the last button on his suit before turning around? He lifted his eyebrows and rested his eyes on her. Su Wei Lai instinctively stopped talking. His expression didn't betray his emotions, and the look in his eyes was candid. However, Su Wei Lai could feel an indescribable and imposing aura emanating from him, and it made her feel very unsettled. Gu Yu's eyes slowly raked through Su Wei Lai's exceptionally beautiful face. When he saw that she was beginning to panic, the corners of his lips slowly lifted, and he replied, Done it. Done what? Su Wei Lai froze in shock. What was that supposed to mean? They had just consummated their relationship. Wasn't he supposed to follow the script and marry her now? Guyu saw the blank look in her eyes, and his lips twitched. As it dawned on him what she was asking, he sarcastically and crudely retorted, You voluntarily threw yourself into my arms and gave me your virginity. And now you're telling me that you want me to take responsibility for you. The sound of his voice was so pleasant to Su Weilai's ears. But the words that he just uttered chilled her to her bone. The blood drained from her face, and her hands trembled. Although she had indeed initiated the first move and kissed him under the influence of alcohol, he hadn't rejected her advances. In fact, he had taken it one step further and pinned her beneath his body. Everything had been fine. Why did he suddenly become so cold? Why was he saying such cruel things? Had she done something wrong? Guyu sneered and took two steps up to her. His long and slender fingers tilted her chin up, and his eyes narrowed. He stared into her ashen face before declaring chillingly, I will give you an answer. Su Weilai waited an entire week for that answer. It came through Gu Yu's phone call. No actually, it came through his assistant's phone call. The assistant succinctly relayed Gu Yu's intentions, he wanted to break off the engagement. Chapter 2 Embarrassed you are listening at novelfull.audio. Translator. Nyo I.B.O. Studio Editor. 
Nyo eyed up EO studio after the call was disconnected, Su Weilai sat on the couch, dumbfounded. Her face slowly turned white. Her father saw her expression, and asked matter dot of dot factly, Wei Lai, was that you on the line? What did he say? Is there going to be a wedding soon? Her mother looked at her expectantly from the side, waiting for her reply. Is there going to be a wedding soon? That question broke Su Wei Lai out of her stupor, and she jerked her head up. She met her parents' eyes as she trembled involuntarily and bit her lip subconsciously. After that fateful day, the news of her spending the night together with Gu Yu had been spread by an unknown source. Before she knew it, everyone in their circle had become aware of that fact. When the news reached Mr. and Mrs. Su, they were elated. Because of Gu Yu's indifferent attitude towards their daughter, they had been expecting the betrothal to go up in flames sooner or later. It, therefore, came as a pleasant surprise that Gu Yu had consummated his relationship with Su Weilai. With this relationship consummated, Gu Yu would naturally have to marry their daughter. Su Weilai observed the joyful smiles on her parents' faces. She opened her mouth, but no words came out, and she closed it again. She couldn't bring herself to say it out loud. She was quiet for a long time, and the look in her eyes was somber. Su Weilai's father finally realized that something wasn't right. The smile disappeared from his face, and he asked in a serious tone, Weilai, is something wrong? Just what did you say? Su Weilai didn't dare to meet her father's gaze. She knew how much her parents were hoping for her and Gu Yu to get married, and for her to become the mistress of the Gu family. She lowered her eyes and stared at her pale fingers for a good twenty seconds before forcing the words out of her throat, Gu Yu said that he wants to break the engagement. Her voice was weak and feeble. Her father was silent immediately, while her mother was stunned. It was a long while before Mrs. Su was finally able to find her voice. She asked in disbelief, you're saying that after you consummated his relationship with you, not only does he not want to take responsibility, he wants to break the engagement. Mr. Su's brows knitted together. However, he was, after all, a businessman, and was able to remain calm. He mumbled something to himself before asking, Wei Lai, did something happen between you and Gu Yu? Over the past week, Su Wei Lai had been replaying this question over and over in her head. However, regardless of how much she thought, she couldn't come up with an answer. She, too, couldn't understand why Gu Yu had suddenly turned so cold when their relationship had warmed up to the extent that he had slept with her. Mrs. Su saw the perplexed look on Su Weilai's face and couldn't hold herself back. She said, why don't you give you a call and have a good talk with him? No, Su Weilai objected without a second thought. That previous phone call was made by his assistant. It is obvious that he doesn't want to have anything to do with me. If I were to call him now, I will just be bringing shame and insult upon myself. It would be just like the other night when she had summoned up her courage and asked him to take responsibility. The cold and cruel words he had said in reply to her still pierced her heart to this day. She knew Gu Yu's personality like the back of her hand. A man like him was lofty and overbearing. Once he had decided upon something, nobody could change his mind. Since he had decided that he wasn't going to marry her, if she threw all her dignity away, that would only intensify his disdain for her. Are we just going to let him break the engagement like that? What will happen to you? Who will be willing to marry you in the future? You'll become the shame of the family. What had transpired between them that night had become public knowledge. If news of their broken engagement got out, it went without saying how embarrassed Su Weilai would be. The Su family would be shamed, and they'd become the butt of everyone's jokes. Su Wei Lai remained silent as she heard her mother's words of admonishment. After some time, her father, who had remained silent until then, turned to look at Su Wei Lai and said straightforwardly, Go overseas for a while. Come back when this matter has died down. Although his tone was light, it was an unquestionable command. Chapter 3 Matchmaking You Are Listening at Novel Full.audio Translator 
Nyo I.B.O. Studio Editor Nyo I.B.O. Studio Although her father had told her to go overseas for a while, Su Weilai knew that this while would last for a long, long time. Even so, she didn't possess the right to say no. The next day, Su Weilai packed her luggage, and, using the excuse that she was going to study, she left for the United States. Although the breaking of the engagement wasn't publicized, the social circle was small enough that everyone in it was talking about it within a few days. In the end, the rumor that became fact was that Su Weilai had climbed into Gu Yu's bed in an effort to force him to marry her. However, the plan had backfired, and Gu Yu had broken off the engagement instead. Such a brazen and shameless woman was unfit to be the mistress of the Gu household. Because of the shame she had brought upon the Su family, she had been exiled to a foreign country. By the time this story reached Su Weilai's ears, she had already been overseas for more than a fortnight. Throughout everything, Gu Yu had not contacted her at all. Following that, she had all domestic news blocked out, and Gu Yu, whom she had once thought that she would spend the rest of her life together with, eventually became a stranger to her. Three years passed in the blink of an eye. When Su Weilai walked out of the airport, the Su family's chauffeur, Uncle Chen, was already waiting at the entrance. He spotted her and quickly rushed up to greet her, taking her luggage from her as he did so. Miss Weilai, you must be tired from the long journey. Su Weilai nodded her head lightly and smiled in reply. As the car sped through the wide roads, Su Weilai lowered the window and looked out of the car. The capital had changed a lot in three years. High dot rise buildings had sprung up, and the population had increased. Most I dot catching of all were the ads of Su Zichian that were posted at every road and junction. Su Zichian was a bell who had gained national popularity in recent years. Even while overseas, Su Weilai had heard of her. When the car stopped at a red light, Su Weilai turned her gaze to an enormous poster of Su Zichian hanging on the exterior of a huge shopping mall. She had beautiful and expressive eyes that were complemented by a sweet smile. She was a beauty, indeed. Su Weilai gazed at the poster in deep thought for a moment before looking away. The moment she reached home, she wasn't given a chance to rest before her father brought her out again. A small banquet was being hosted in the grand and magnificent country club. It was the birthday party of her father's business partner, Mr. Wu. All the invited guests were rich and wealthy. She was attending, firstly as her father's plus one, and secondly, because her father wanted to introduce her to a prospective husband. Indeed, the reason why she was finally able to return to China after three years of exile overseas was that her family needed her to form a marriage alliance. Three years ago, cracks had begun to show in the management of the Su Corporation. After her betrothal to the Gu family fell apart, the company was saddled with even more problems. The fate of the Su Corporation was currently hanging on a thread, and if no further investments rolled in, the company would have no option but to file for bankruptcy. In order to save the company, Su Weilai had to ensure that she made a good impression on this date. As long as he fancied her and was willing to marry her, the Su Corporation would stand a chance of being resurrected. Weilai, although Mr. Zhang is a little older than you, he's very steady and mature. He'll treat you well. Most importantly, he holds two listed companies in his hands. That makes him an ideal choice of husband for you. You must remember to present yourself well later. Su Weilai frowned imperceptibly and pursed her lips when she heard her father's instructions. Her only reply was a single sound of acknowledgement. Her obedience earned her a smile of approval from Mr. Su. He held her and led her through the crowd toward Mr. Zhang. Mr. Zhang was of a medium build and was almost the same age as Su Weilai's father. His stomach was round, and his eyes were cloudy. When he caught sight of Su Weilai, he looked at her openly from head to toe. Without waiting for Mr. Su's introduction, he rushed up hurriedly and held on to Su Weilai's hand. Miss Su, you're indeed as beautiful as Mr. Su told me you'd be. Su Weilai frowned, but before she could give a response, there was a sudden commotion at the entrance of the banquet hall. 
Chapter 4 Reunited you are listening at NovelFull.audio Translator Nyo I.B.O. Studio Editor Nyo I.B.O. Studio A handsome man and beautiful woman together was always an I.catching sight. Su Wei Lai glanced over instinctively, and her eyes settled on the man who stood out among the crowd. His eyes were finely shaped, like almonds, with a slight upturn. In colloquial terms, they were known as phoenix eyes. He had a high nose bridge and thin lips. He looked indifferent as if nothing could ever faze him, and he had a cold, ruthless aura about him. Beside him was a stunningly beautiful woman. Her hand was tucked in the crook of his elbow as she leaned on him delicately. Her smile reached her eyes, and she looked endearing. She recognized the woman. It was none other than the insanely popular Su Zichian, whose face was plastered all over the streets and on the billboards. As for the man, Su Wei Lai knew that her return meant it would only be a matter of time before she met Gu Yu again. However, she never expected it to be this soon and this sudden. Strangely, an indescribable emotion rippled through her heart. She couldn't tell if it was nervousness or anticipation. Gu Yu and Su Zichian were surrounded by a crowd as they made their way in, and they were heading in her direction. Gu Yu seemed to sense her gaze on him, and he looked over. His eyes met with Su Weilai's, and, as both of them gazed at each other, Su Weilai's heart skipped a beat. However, the very next moment, Gu Yu acted as if he hadn't seen a thing. He moved his gaze away and walked right past her. Su Wei Lai lowered her eyes to hide the self dot mockery that surfaced within her. She had naively imagined the scene of her reunion with Gu Yu. She had imagined all sorts of possibilities, but it had never crossed her mind that it would be this horrible. He hadn't even blinked when he saw her. It was almost as if she were invisible. Wei Lai, Mr. Zhang is talking to you. Mr. Su's words broke Su Wei Lai out of her reverie. She quietly took a deep breath to regain her composure and pasted a smile on her face. She tilted her head over and asked gently, yes. Mr. Zhang was extremely fond of her submissive demeanor, and he smiled so hard that his eyes were almost closed. Mr. Su observed how the situation was unfolding and nodded his head approvingly at his daughter. Following that, he made up an excuse to leave, but not before shooting Su Wei Lai a look, as a warning and reminder not to let this opportunity slip. The moment he left, Su Wei Lai unobtrusively retrieved her hand from Mr. Zhang's grasp and said with a smile, Mr. Zhang, it's too noisy here. Why don't we head outside to the courtyard and find a seat? Her suggestion was exactly in line with Mr. Zhang's desire. He nodded eagerly. Let's go right now. However, Su Wei Lai stopped him. Mr. Zhang, I need to use the washroom. Could you head over there first and wait for me? Yes, of course. Definitely. Come over quickly. I'll be waiting for you. After getting rid of Mr. Zhang, Su Wei Lai rubbed her exhausted brows. She glanced at the crowd in front of her and picked up a champagne flute from a passing waiter. She found herself in an inconspicuous corner and sat down. A few socialites took their seats in the booth beside her and chatted as they drank their champagne. The princess plus one today is Su Zichian. I wonder how on earth Su Zichian managed to get so lucky. To think she managed to catch the prince's eye. I'm so envious and jealous. Exactly. She's been favored for three years. It's not something a normal woman can achieve. From what I can see, Su Zichian doesn't seem all that special. I seriously wonder how she managed to bewitch the prince. I heard that, back then, it was because of her that the prince called off his engagement. Back then, the eldest daughter of the Su family went as far as to climb into his bed, and she still wasn't able to get the prince to marry her. In the end, she was chased out of the country with her tail between her legs, and the prince became a couple with Su Zichian immediately after that. Until today, both of them are still joined at the hip. My guess is that Su Zichian is going to end up being the mistress of the Gu household. Chapter 5 
New girlfriend you are listening at novelfull.audio. Translator. Nyo Idapio Studio Editor. Nyo Idapio Studio So much time had passed since that matter occurred, but Su Wei Lai remained the butt of her social circle's jokes. Fortunately, she was already somewhat numb to such words. However, throughout these three years, it would be a bald-faced lie if she said she wasn't curious about why Guyu had broken the engagement after sleeping with her. During these three years, she often looked back into the past. She couldn't help but wonder just what the reason was as to why Guyu had suddenly turned so heartless toward her after a blissful night of passion. In the period of time after his car accident, he had warmed up toward her. She had even caught a hint of indulgence in his eyes, occasionally, when he was looking at her. He had also taken her along with him during important functions and out to meet his friends, which was akin to a silent acknowledgement that she was his fiancée. Was this statement she just heard the answer? Had he broken his engagement with her because of Su Zichin? As she was deep in her thoughts, she suddenly caught a glimpse of her father looking for her with an unsmiling expression. She finished the rest of her champagne in one gulp and got up to avoid him. She headed into the restroom at the end of the corridor. Su Weilai turned on the tap and took her time washing her hands. The door to the restroom suddenly opened, and a beautiful figure walked in. The lady scanned her surroundings with a serious look in her eyes. Su Zichian glanced at Su Wei Lai instinctively. For a moment, their eyes almost met. Almost. She walked up to her side and opened her handbag to retrieve her lipstick. She looked at her reflection in the mirror as she applied it. Su Wei Lai raised her head and looked forward. She observed Su Zichian through the mirror. She was even more beautiful in person than she was in print. Her eyes were bright and round with a mesmerizing glint, and her lips were deliciously pink and kissable. She was tender, beautiful, and delicate. Was this the kind of woman Gu Yu truly liked? Su Wei Lai wasn't the only one checking the other woman out. After Su Zichian had applied her lipstick, she took out her face powder to touch up her makeup. Finally, she redrew her eyeliner. When she was done, she put away her cosmetics and turned to leave. However, when she reached the exit, she turned her head to look back. She gave Su Wei Lai a glance from head to toe before pushing the door open and stepping out. Su Wei Lai had already lingered in the washroom for ten minutes when her cell phone rang. It was her father. She knew if she didn't reappear soon, he was going to be angry. She reapplied her lipstick and stepped out. When she found out that Mr. Zhang had left first due to an urgent matter, Su Wei Lai heaved a sigh of relief. Her father reprimanded her, but when she obediently acknowledged her mistake, he didn't exactly have much more to say. Since Mr. Zhang had left, they didn't have any reason to remain at the function. After all, the Su family of today was no longer the same Su family of old. In this circle, it was a common trait to ingratiate oneself with the lofty and trample on the fallen. The presence of Mr. Su and his daughter went largely ignored by everyone. With no one to mingle with, they chose to leave early. As Mr. Su and Su Wei Lai made their way to the exit, they spotted Gu Yu sitting alone in a booth. He was probably tired of making small talk, and at that moment, was sitting with his eyes closed. His assistant stood to the side, rejecting any individual who came forward to chat. Dotguyu sat there casually, with his tie loosened. Even unkempt, he wasn't an eyesore. His demeanor and actions were as dotted up matter dot of. Fact. Three years had seen him mature and become even more handsome. Su Weilai's father paused in his steps and looked over. He turned his head back to Su Weilai and said, Weilai. Since you and you are both coincidentally here, why don't you go over to say hi? Although the betrothal between the two of them had been called off and they weren't fated to be husband and wife, it would still be beneficial to the Su family if Su Wei Lai could maintain a friendship with him. Chapter 6 Successful in both his love life and career you are listening at NovelFull.audio Translator Nyo Ida Studio Editor 
Nyo Ida Bio Studio Su Weilai clenched her fists subconsciously. It would be a lie if she said she had never harbored any hope of meeting him again. However, when she saw that he had looked right past her and treated her as invisible, she knew that going forward to greet him would only result in her own humiliation. Na, Su Weilai shook her head decisively. Su Weilai's father couldn't comprehend her decision. She pursed her lips lightly, and explained, Dad, you can see that Gu Yu does not want to interact with anyone at the moment. Besides, he came with a female companion today. Given our past relationship, I don't think. He'll want to see me. Mr. Su pondered her words for a moment. Indeed, it wasn't a good time today. Besides, there were so many other eyes present at the party. If Su Wei Lai went forward and got rejected by the assistant, it would be embarrassing when word of it got out. There'll always be another chance. Su Wei Lai gave a sigh of relief inwardly when she saw that her father changed his mind. She held on to his arm, and they continued on their way. At the same time that she turned around, Gu Yu, who was resting at the booth with his eyes closed, suddenly opened his eyes. He glanced over imperceptibly, and his eyes darkened and became unreadable. The entire atmosphere surrounding him suddenly became cold. The black sedan stopped at the lobby of the luxury apartment building. Su Zichen turned her head to look at the handsome man beside her. After a moment's hesitation, she couldn't resist asking in a gentle voice, You, would you like to come up for some coffee? Guyu lifted his eyes lazily and glanced at her. The look in his eyes was emotionless and cold. It gave nothing away and kept the recipient at a distance. He didn't say a word, but she already knew the answer. She smiled immediately and replied cheerily, I'll go back now, you. Be careful on the road. Good night. After Su Zichin turned and walked into the apartment block, the assistant asked, Back to the villa, Sir. Guyu didn't reply. He looked out of the window at nothing in particular and sat in a daze. The assistant glanced at his boss through the rearview mirror. Mr. Gu seemed a little out of the ordinary today. Just as the assistant was sure that he wasn't going to get an answer, the man sitting behind replied in a low voice, back to the office. When Su Wei Lai got home, she removed her makeup and took a shower. She was physically and mentally exhausted by the time she climbed into bed. She tossed and turned in bed. Perhaps it was because of the jet lag, or maybe it was some other reason, but regardless of how tired she felt, she couldn't fall asleep. She picked up her cell phone intending to just scroll through it randomly. However, her fingers had a mind of their own and automatically typed in Gu Yu's name in the search engine. By the time she regained her senses, her screen was already filled with all possible information regarding Gu Yu. Three years ago, he had taken full control of the Gu Corporation. He was aggressive in his actions and incisive in his methods. Possessing a very sharp business acumen, Gu brought Gu Corporation to the peak of the industry. In three years, he had cemented his position as a legend in the business world. Apart from this information, the search results were filled with various gossips regarding news between him and Su Zichian. Su Zichian was originally a newbie that had been unheard of. Gu Yu had opened an entertainment company solely for her and promoted her, alone. It had given her access to bottomless resources and had pushed her to the prominent position she currently held. Rumor had it that Gu Yu had already brought Su Zichian to meet his grandfather. Rumor also had it that Gu Yu had taken Su Zichian to pick a ring, leading to the speculation that some good news was just around the corner. Everything she'd heard at the party was turning out to be true. After three years, she had become the ditched fiancé who was the butt of everybody's jokes, while he had grown successful in both his love life and career. Chapter 7 Nothing more than a business transaction you are listening at NovelFull.audio Translator Nyo Ida Bio Studio Editor Nyo Ida Bio Studio Even though she knew she shouldn't, Su Wei Lai couldn't prevent the ache that appeared in her heart. It felt like a weight pressing against her chest, making it hard for her to breathe. 
Ever since she was young, she had been told that she would marry Gu Yu when she was older and become the mistress of the Gu household. Although Gu Yu had been indifferent to her, she hadn't been discouraged. Instead, she had done her best to get near to him and worked hard to endear herself to him. That car accident had become the turning point in their relationship. But, just when her perfect dream had been about to come true, he had dealt her a heavy blow. It was a blow so heavy that she hadn't been able to recover from it even until now. She had once wondered if Gu Yu had broken the engagement because she was too frivolous and unrestrained. But, from the looks of things now, it was simply because he didn't like her. O.org During breakfast, the next day, Su Weilai's father received a call. His face lit up immediately, and with a huge smile on his face, he said to Su Weilai, who was quietly eating her breakfast, Weilai, Mr. Zhang says that he is very satisfied with you. If you can set a wedding date as soon as possible, he will allocate the investment capital for our company's key projects. A grin broke out on Mrs. Su's face when she heard that. I knew it. Given how beautiful and well-mannered our dear Wei Lai is, Mr. Zhang would definitely like her. This is great. Our company will be saved. Hurry and pick a date. I'll call Mr. Zhang out to discuss the marriage details. Right. I'll pick an auspicious date. Su Wei Lai was silent as she heard her parents exchange. Just like that, they had made her life's greatest decision for her. No. To put it more accurately, just like that, she had been sold. Her marriage and her happiness were nothing more than a beneficial business transaction to them. That had been how it had been in the past, and that was how it was now. It took Mrs. Su a moment to suddenly remember Su Weilai's existence. She looked up at her and asked, Weilai, what do you think? Su Weilai put her fork and knife down on the table and raised her eyes. Slowly, she met her mother's gaze and gently bit her bottom lip before she opened her mouth to speak. Mom, I don't want to get married. Throughout her life, she had never gone against her parents' wishes. However, this time around, for some reason, she had subconsciously voiced her objections. Upon hearing her words, her father's face darkened. What did you say, he demanded. You're already the joke of our entire social circle. Now that Mr. Zhang is willing to have you, you should be thanking your lucky stars. Do you really think that you have the right to a choice? I'll tell you this now. You'll have to marry, regardless of whether you want to or not. She had always known that what had happened three years ago had brought shame upon the Su family. Until now, it was still a topic of ridicule. She hadn't allowed herself to care about what other people said. However, the one who was spouting such words right now was her own father. Each word was like a knife that pierced right into her heart. Her face slowly turned white. Mrs. Su saw the situation and quickly mediated. All right, dear. Wei Lai just got back. She still hasn't recovered from her fatigue yet. Let's not rush into things. Let her rest for a few days before we discuss this again. Su Weilai's father glared at her and was seemingly about to say something when her mother stopped him with a look. He managed to suppress his anger but had lost his appetite. He rose from the table and stalked off. After he finally disappeared through the door, Mrs. Su reached out and patted Su Weilai gently on her arm. She consoled, Weilai, your dad is especially anxious right now because of the company. He doesn't mean to be nasty. Be understanding and don't hold it against him. He still loves you at the end of the day. All right. Su Weilai forced a smile on her face and nodded her head lightly. That day, Su Weilai and her mother were in their usual beauty salon for skincare treatments when they received a call from her father, saying that he happened to be in a nearby restaurant. He told them to join him for the meal before going home. Chapter 8 Engagement You are listening at NovelFull.audio Translator Nyo I.B.O. Studio Editor Nyo I.B.O. Studio When the ladies reached the appointed restaurant, the hostess brought them to the private room. Upon entering, they saw Mr. Su seated at the table with Mr. Zhang. 
the two men were deep in conversation. Mrs. Su sensed Su Weilai freeze in her tracks, and she tightened her hold around Su Weilai's arm. You're here, Mr. Su commented to his wife and daughter. I met Mr. Zhang coincidentally and invited him to join us. We're all going to be a family soon, anyway. He paused for a moment and looked at Su Weilai. Weilai, why aren't you greeting him? Before coming, Su Weilai had had a premonition that this wasn't going to be a simple family meal. But she had never imagined that her parents would be so bold as to go this far. Then again, since when had her feelings ever been in the scope of their considerations? Su Weilai closed her eyes and suppressed her emotions. When she reopened them, she pasted a smile on her face and called out docilely, How do you do, Mr. Zhang? Mr. Zhang got up immediately and walked over to her. Don't stand on ceremony, Wei Lai. We're about to be engaged, after all. In the future, just call me Lei. He kept his eyes trained on Su Wei Lai's face and made no effort to mask his desire whatsoever. Su Wei Lai felt very uncomfortable. Su Wei Lai imperceptibly avoided his outstretched hand. She proceeded to pull a chair out from the table and gave a subservient pose as she said, Mr. Zhang, please have a seat. Okay. Sure. After Zhang Lei sat down, Mr. Su followed suit. Mrs. Su sat to his side. Su Wei Lai was about to sit beside her mother, when her father said, Wei Lai, sit beside Mr. Zhang and keep him company. Stunned, Su Wei Lai's hand paused in midair for a moment, before she pulled out the chair beside Zhang Lei and sat down. Mr. and Mrs. Su seemed very much in a hurry for her and Zhang Lei to develop their relationship. Therefore, when Zhang Lei deliberately plied her with alcohol, not only did they not stop him, they even encouraged her to indulge him. Dot Su Wei Lai tried her best to avoid drinking as much as she could. But she still ended up drinking a fair bit. Her face grew flushed, and her mind started to become a little hazy. She knew that if the situation continued any further, she was going to lose her ability to protect herself. Su Wei Lai stated decisively, Please, excuse me. I need to go to the washroom. Su Wei Lai turned on the tap and splashed her face with cold water. After washing her face for a good while, she finally regained a little more clarity. She retrieved the hangover medication that she kept constantly in her handbag. She poured two pills out onto her palm and swallowed them without any water. Only when the tipsy sensations slowly ebbed off, did Su Wei Lai leave the bathroom. As she walked through the corridor on her way back to the private room, she walked past a tall man. After Su Wei Lai returned to the private room, the man headed to the washroom and returned to his private room as well. Seated on the couch was a group of men, each with their arm around a woman, drinking red wine and discussing business. Guyu leaned back on the couch right in the middle. His expression was cold, but his demeanor remained elegant. The natural aura he emanated kept people at a distance, and those who did speak with him had a tinge of awe in their voice. He didn't say much, but every time he opened his mouth, his words were sharp enough to draw blood. The tall man took two steps forward, and, with excitement written all over his face, he announced, Guess whom I just saw. A round dot faced young man by the name of Su Shui gave the man a side that I glance and remarked brusquely, Whom could you have seen? It's probably just one of the many beautiful women out there. She is indeed a beautiful woman, but it's one that you'd never imagine. Su Shui laughed aloud. What sort of a beautiful woman is beyond the imagination of a player like you? It's Su Wei Lai. The tall man didn't bother beating around the bush. I thought I was high from alcohol and made a mistake. But I asked the waitress. It's indeed her. I didn't know she was back in China. Moreover, she's in the private room right next to us. I heard that she's discussing the details of her engagement with Mr. Zhang. Chapter 9 Meeting Again You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Translator Nyo I.B.O. Studio Editor Nyo I.B.O. Studio Su Wei Lai
Everyone present knew of the history between Su Wei Lai and Gu Yu. Upon hearing her name, they instinctively looked toward him. After all, no one could be certain exactly what his attitude toward her currently was. Gu Yu acted as if he hadn't heard a word, and the look in his eyes remained unchanged. He continued lazing on the couch, rolling the stem of the crystal wine glass between his slender fingers. When everyone witnessed his reaction, or lack thereof, they relaxed and the atmosphere regained its liveliness. One of the men teased aloud, that oldie from the Zhang family. Isn't he the same age as Su Weilai's father? She really isn't picky. The tall man replied, given the Su family's current situation, the fact that they can even find an old man willing to marry her is a surprise. She doesn't have the luxury of being picky. Su Shui took a sip of wine and laughed humorlessly, to a woman like Su Wei Lai, all that matters is money. She can't be bothered about who the man is. Stop talking about her. It's spoiling the mood. You sound really bitter, Master Su. Please don't tell us that your heart was broken by Su Wei Lai before. Just as that statement was made out loud, Gu Yu suddenly placed his wine glass down on the table. That small sound was enough to silence everyone at the same time. The expression on his face remained emotionless, and no one could tell what he was feeling. He opened his mouth, and coolly declared, I'm leaving. With those two words, he got up and strode out of the private room. Su Shui watched Gu Yu as he left, and turned back to glare at the tall man. You really don't know when to shut up, he commented coldly. By the time Gu Yu had walked out of the restaurant, his assistant had already readied the car and was waiting for him by the roadside. He walked over, but instead of entering the car, he leaned on the vehicle and took out his box of cigarettes. He retrieved a stick, lit it, and took a puff. As the gray smoke curled in the air, his eyes turned as dark as ink. After the meal, Su Wei Lai and her parents walked out of the restaurant. The moment they exited, they caught sight of a tall man standing by the road. Dot even in the dark night, he was still as I dot catching as ever. Su Wei Lai's hand clenched subconsciously. They met again. Ever since that party, he was the person she least wanted to meet. She didn't want to let him witness how low she had fallen after he had abandoned her. She looked away indifferently as if she hadn't seen a thing. However, Su Wei Lai's parents had spotted him, and they headed over to Gu Yu without any hesitation. Su Wei Lai frowned but had no choice but to follow behind them slowly. Mr. Su stepped forward and smiled ingratiatingly. Hello, you. Long time no see. Gu Yu leveled his eyes on Mr. Su's face and snuffed out his cigarette. He straightened up and pasted a formal and distant smile on his face. Uncle Su, he greeted dryly. I saw you at the party previously, but I didn't get the chance to say hi. I didn't expect to bump into you here. As Mr. Su spoke, a thought suddenly occurred to him, and he turned around to push Su Wei Lai over. He said, oh right. Wei Lai is back. She's been saying that she wants to find an opportunity to drop by and visit you. Su Wei Lai was dumbstruck at being suddenly pushed in front of Gu Yu. When she heard her father's words, she felt like killing herself. She never wanted to see Gu Yu again in this lifetime, much less drop by to visit him. She was never going to subject herself to such humiliation a second time. Gu Yu turned the focus of his dark eyes from Mr. Su's face to Su Wei Lai's. He lowered his eyes and looked down at her. The contempt that flashed across his eyes was visible for her to see. Su Wei Lai balled her fists up fiercely. He was probably thinking that she was a shameless woman. He had already abandoned her once, and here she was, back to cling on to him. Chapter 10 Don't discuss interest with me. Discuss money. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Translator. Nyo I. Bo Studio Editor. Nyo I. Bo Studio. There wasn't much expression on Gu Yu's face. The look in his eyes remained steady and unaffected. As if he hadn't heard Mr. Su's words at all, he curtly stated, Uncle Su, I'm busy. 
I'll make a move first. With that, he opened the car door and bent his head down to get in. The car soon sped off. Seeing how Guyu had given Su Weilai the cold shoulder, Mr. and Mrs. Su were none too pleased. But more than that, they lamented the situation. Seated in the back seat of the car, Mr. Su couldn't contain his sigh. I had thought that you would at least show some care to Wei Lai out of consideration for their past relationship and for old time's sake. From the looks of it, that isn't the case for him at all. Old time sake. There had to be sweet memories in the first place in order for that term to be used. Since Guyu had never had any feelings for her to being with, what past relationship was there to consider? Su Wei Lai kept silent and turned her head to look out of the car window. Mrs. Su concurred and gave a sigh, as well. She turned to glance at Wei Lai and said, It's fine. Mr. Zhang is good, too. Our dear Wei Lai has a very happy future ahead of her. During the three years that Su Wei Lai had been overseas, she hadn't solely been studying. She had also found a job at a magazine publishing company. She had taken a leave of absence to return to China. But this morning, she received an email from the company asking if she was interested in conducting an interview with the immensely popular Su Zichin. In all honesty, Viu wasn't the only person she didn't want to meet. She didn't want to meet anyone who had anything to do with him either, especially not his rumored girlfriend. However, she groaned for a moment before moving her fingers to type out her reply. Don't discuss interest with me. Discuss money. In order to create incentives for their employees, the magazine company paid them bonuses in addition to the basic salary. If a reporter was able to expose an explosive piece of news or nab a very valuable interview, a corresponding bonus would be paid out. The other party soon replied with a number. The reward was very generous, indeed, worthy of the interview with a popular actress. I'll take it. Su Wei Lai closed her laptop and searched through the phone directory for Su Zichin's personal number. She dialed it. Because Su Zichin hadn't accepted a single magazine interview ever since she gained popularity, Su Wei Lai was expecting to have to pull out all her stops to convince her to accept this interview. Unexpectedly, when the call connected, all she had to do was reveal her identity for the interview to be granted. Even the timing was confirmed right there and then. When the call was disconnected, Su Wei Lai didn't know how to react. Thought this mission had been accomplished a little too easily. Was her career beginning to take off, now that her love life was down in the doldrums? The interview was set for the next day, in the afternoon. Su Zichin had filming scheduled at the television station that day and could only spare 10 minutes. Su Wei Lai arrived half an hour in advance, to play it safe, and waited for her interviewee in the exclusive VIP lounge. As she sat on the couch, she flipped through the local magazines in order to get a better understanding of the local scene. When it was close to the agreed dot upon time, the door to the lounge was suddenly opened. She closed the magazine immediately and adjusted her clothing before standing up and looking over. She had thought that it was Su Zichin who entered. She never expected to see a handsome man standing in front of her. Su Wei Lai was stunned, and the pupils in her eyes contracted slightly. Likewise, Biu had never imagined that he would meet Su Wei Lai at such a place. He froze mid step, but his eyes darkened in the next second. The lounge was eerily quiet at that moment, and the atmosphere grew tense. It took a few seconds for Su Wei Lai to regain her wits about her. She moved her lips, intending to explain herself, but the sense of oppression was so strong that she couldn't bring herself to utter a word. However, since she was invisible to Gu Yu anyway, it was likely that he'd turn and walk off. Whether or not she explained herself wouldn't make a difference. Much to her surprise, he stared at her intently, and began to make his way toward her, one long stride at a time. 